Today I'm going to show you how to deploy N810 to your AWS EC2 instance and pay nothing for it or very little if you want to add some bells and whistles such as custom domain name for example. N810 is a game changer that helps thousands of people to optimize their work and personal tasks. It can save you a lot of time and money. You just need to set up workflows that will do the boring job for you. And you don't even need to write code. Just connect the nodes together and voila, it magically works. And of course, you can also add an AI flavor to your workflows with the agentic AI nodes. Sounds like a miracle, isn't it? Well, until your trial period ends. And then you'll be asked to pay £24 a month for a starter pack cloud version. That's not ideal, isn't it? But NA10 is an open source tool, so if you don't want to pay the subscription, then you can host it yourself, the free version. And it will cost you nothing, or almost nothing, but still cheaper than £24. There are different ways to host NA10. You can do it just on your local machine and it will be absolutely free. Or you can use special services that allow you to deploy NA10 just in one click. These services are not free, but still cheaper than the subscription. But if you want to host your NA10 online and do it on a budget, then watch this video, I will show you how. You can host NA10 on any cloud service, Azure, Google Cloud or AWS. I prefer AWS because it gives you a one year of free tier for all new accounts and T2 Micro EC2 instance is included in this free tier plan. In this video, I will use Terraform to make the deploy process easy and smooth. We will just run few commands in the terminal instead of clicking your way through the AWS console. And do not worry if you are not familiar with AWS or Terraform. I will share the GitHub repo with all the code you need and uh, you can edit it if you want or just use as it is. And before you start, make sure you created your AWS account and set up the AWS command line tool with credentials to access your AWS console. And if you don't know how to do that, then check it out in my other videos, for example, the one that I linked in the top corner of the video. You will also need to install Terraform. You can see how to do that on the HashiCorp website. So if you don't want to go deep in details and just want your NA10 instance up and running, then click the link below the video, clone the GitHub repo and run the following commands in your terminal. The first command terraform init. This command will initialize terraform and download all the necessary plugins. In my case, I logged the uh, AWS provider to the older version because on my laptop MacBook with M2 processor, the latest version of this plugin doesn't work very well. But if you're on a different uh, operation system or on a different laptop, you can try the latest version. So after the project got initialized, it will create these files, terraform state and terraform log. And then you can run the next command, terraform plan. And this command will just log the list of resources that Terraform is going to create. So you can check it and make sure that you're not destroying anything or not creating something that you don't want to. So when it's done, you can see all the resources that it's going to create. Uh, some of them will have their ID uh, and others won't until it will be actually created. So you can just read through it and check if you're happy with what you're doing, if you want to create these resources, and then you need to run the last command, terraform apply. This command will actually create all these resources. So be careful before you run it, make sure that you know what you're doing. So here it will ask you if you want do, to do that, if you approve this command and you need to type yes and then it's going to create all the resources. In my case it throws an error because I already have it created 
So uh, if I go back to my original repository, I can show you. I will show you how the actual output when it works will look like. So let's run Terraform apply. And now again, I'm entering yes. And yeah, so when it is done, when it is done, you'll see this, you'll see the public URL uh, with this port 5678 that you can click open. And here it is your personal instance of N8N. Uh, here you can do almost everything uh, that you do in the cloud version. Uh, there are just few features that are limited to the paid version. And the most of the nodes that you would use are here in the free version anyway. So that's just it. You can enjoy, you can create your workflows. And if you want to have a custom domain name here, you can just copy this IP address and go to your domain provider. In my case, it is a name chip. And yeah, uh, so here you can just manage your domain and you can add some records. And if you want to uh, add the IP address, you need to select the A record. And in my case, host will be NA10. So it should be NA10. Dot uh, codenbird.com. So let's save all changes. And it usually takes a little bit of time before it will work. So yeah, when the uh, DNS uh, entry will be propagated, you'll be able to access your uh, NA10 under this nice domain. And now if you're curious what is actually happening in these files, what you're actually running, what you're doing, I'm going to walk you through them and explain. So first, let's start with the main.tf. This is an entry point of our Terraform. And the first thing here is these required providers. So this is basically tells uh, download this plugin, this version, and then we are going to uh, set our provider to AWS. And uh, here we can add some configuration. In this case, this is the uh, AWS region. Then we start creating our resources. Uh, here we're creating a security group for our EC2 instance, um, adding some pretty standard config. And then we are creating the actual EC2 instance. Here we have this AMI ID and instance type, and we're passing our security group here. Uh, we are referencing it. We can reference uh, resources that we are creating. Um, and then here in this user data, we tell to the EC2 instance to run these bash commands when the instance uh, spins up. So when our instance is created, it will run all these commands. And in these commands, we just install Docker, Docker Compose, and then we start a Docker and we download an image, an image for N8N. Here you can see uh, this. And we're passing few environment variable here. That is also important. Uh, so here we are setting our basic authentication. Uh, and it means that when you first time run your NA10, uh, you'll be prompted a form to create an admin user and uh, make sure you remember which user you uh, create, which email and password you use. So then you can log in as an admin. Then we are setting this NA10 secure cookie to false. This is because we are running it on HTTP, not an HTTPS. And we need to tell it that we don't want this secure cookie. Otherwise, you won't be able to access your uh, NA10. And then we are creating the user and the password. And actually, I'm, I'm not using this. Uh, and I'm just creating a new one on the first like visit. Probably you can use this as well. I don't know. I haven't really tried. And we also add a tag and it and server. And then the very last, we are adding our elastic IP. This resource we need uh, because we want our 
EC2 instance always have the same IP address because we want, for example, go there every time to the same link. We don't want to go to AWS console and check uh, if we reboot our instance, what the IP address it got. So this is our uh, permanent uh, IP address. We also have two more files, um, variables. These variables are just uh, things that we pass here, that we refer here. So for example, this var.aws region is coming from these variables. And we add a little description to this and the actual default value. Output is what we are printing here uh, at the end of the apply command. Uh, and in this case, we're just printing our public API and our link to the service. So this is a very simple Terraform configuration that you can use to spin up NA10 in your own AWS account. So that's it for today. And I hope it was useful for you. If so, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe for my channel. Thank you.